And, and I, I guess, just, I just want to say, like, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be a part of this program. Awesome. Addison. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm here. I was hoping to make it the entire day literally without drinking water hearing May the steam 4th. steam coming out of it? I am. Yes, it's hot water. You just... <laughs> I've I've got to be honest. <laughs> I've never seen anyone just drink hot water. Really? I'm, that's what I'm doing today. Joshua, didn't you say it's common in where? Uh, other in, countries? Yeah. In all my travels to Asia, okay. uh, I've seen a lot. Of, I have partaken in a lot of hot water drinking. Nice. <laughs> well, if you're watching, let's all try hot water at some point in our lives. But for today, we have a new and notable episode Let's show that top-down cam. We got a juicy array of pedals here. Um, I'm full of energy, as you can tell. As yeah. we as we get into this, we're gonna it's gonna get lit. You need to drink more coffee. Yeah. Let's start with the Flamacinus. A couple new new little diddles. Now we did an episode. I don't know what it's called. Uh, you may remember what we called it. Mm-hmm. It's a great episode. Isn't it shows it? like the line. Yeah, it's just called like, "What's the deal with Flama?" <laughs> it might be. Um, these are, I guess, if I had to pick a favorite Chinese pedal brand, it's it's the Flama line. Um, they're great. They have a sense of like originality to a lot of different things. The DSP is really clever. The user interfaces are nice. So this is the envelope filter, lovely so far. The cab sim, which I'll show. I don't know. I might even ask for advice on how to apparently use a cab sim. <laughs> uh, and we have the looper drummer. Can I just demonstrate? Uh, I don't even really need Nick. We'll probably jam with this later, but it's pretty fresh. Mm. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So there's that. That's a looper. What's cool about this is you can... I have it on a hip hop beat, but it has all kinds of beats. And then you can record a rhythm loop and practice guitar with it. It's a really cool, like, it makes me want to practice guitar, which I know I'll never do, but it's fun. Um, We have a couple new Nux pedals, which showed up. I, As far as I know, I haven't talked to Nux. Joshua, have you talked to them? They just showed up. I don't know. They just showed up. Yeah, they just showed up, which is great. Anyone and everyone can send stuff in. So I played a couple Nux pedals I enjoyed. These are really, no, really. No, I fun. lied. Yeah, you did. Talk I to did them? talk to them. Yeah, cool. It was very brief, but also, well, I if, think if you talk to them again, I want to try the rotary thing that's in this model. There's okay. like a series. Oh. These are really nice, and I think uh, as far as Chinese brands, again, it's always like all the Chinese stuff is blah blah blah. What's like these are very original, and these Actually are good. Really nice programming, and yeah, I think Call it's it for what it is. New X. I'm New almost X? positive it's In the New comments, X. is it New X or Nux? I go for Nux. I also, like Nux. for anyone who's wondering, I am taking notes today with Emuji wow. pen, uh, 0.38 millimeters. That's very specific. That's is that an actual wonder of the show? Was wondering that. <laughs> okay. I, it might be New X because it's in you with like an arrow into the X, but I'm going to say Nux. That's fine. Nux is cool too. We have Uncle Ernie's Effects Booster. I and love Uncle Ernie. It sounds really good. We have the brand spanking new Earthquaker Speak Special Cranker, which is a take on the, the update of the classic speaker cranker, which is in my top five favorite Earthquakers ever. The Eras by Walrus, which is the brother or, if you want to say sister, to the ages. You have the Mammoth and the Bull. There's probably some type of story there that I'm missing. <laughs> And then we have this, which is the Rat Liquor. How do you feel about the name Rat Liquor? Um, Tasty. Yeah. It's a rat. Yum. It's a one-knob rat, and it's called the Rat Liquor, and it's in one of those fonts that hurts my eyes, but <laughs> it, it is yet beautiful. It's uh, because you're not metal enough. I'm not metal, but I like this pedal. That rhyme. Hey. Hold on. I'm not metal. But I really, really like this pedal. I'm not metal. I'm not metal. But I really, really like that pedal. Yeah. You're not very gangster we, either. I uh, never said I was. <laughs> just, I'm allowed just to rap if I want to. Up. Uh, da, 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 da. The Swim Team by Mojo Hand. Chorus Flanger. 
I didn't know how I felt about this because I got one in a while back and I didn't have time to really play it. And I was like, cool, a chorus. And then I plugged it up and, you know, literally we get Addison kind of builds the board out. I lay the pedals out for these. And I really do jam on them for the first time ever on the new Indotables. And I'm like, this is amazeballs mm. in the context of actually playing. It is, as you can tell, it's like a, a play on the Nirvana Nevermind cover. And oh. this is this is like instant grunge chorus. It's very juicy. It's perma moist. <laughs> nice. And that's it. No, the cascade. The cascade. Now is G N O M O N is that no gnome? Wait, spell it again. G N O M O N. Oh. I was saying Naman. Naman or Noman. Is there some relation to the sun with that? Because mm. it's a it's a take on the analog oh. man's sun faces. Which are fuzz faces. I don't know. I don't know what to call this. I don't know how to say it, and I'm I'm already bad with words. And we all know that words is really hard. So for today, I'm gonna call this the Cascade Petals. Nomon. Nomon. Uh, Nomon from ancient Greek nomon, sun. one that knows or examines, is the part of a sundial that there casts a shadow. That's what it is, because it's off the sun face. Anyway, we'll get into each of these. All right. How do we do? And we we learned something last live. Just slow down. Yeah. Take your time. Take man. it take in. Time. Today's take been a time. stressful day for me, just with like business life and like stuff. So it's always fun to come in here and play and talk about pedals. What should we start with? Who votes first? Are we each gonna vote? Let's see that top down again. Let's hear. Let's see. You know what? I think we need to get the rat liquor not out of the way, but I think it's a good way to just like set the tone for this episode. <laughs> get it in your system. So, you know what I mean? Joshua, we <laughs> yes. actually are gonna get this. Is you I never have. know. You know what? You never know what you're getting into here. Whoa. So go over to Joshua. I have right here. A rat liquor. Stop that. That I want to give away to somebody. So, the first person to say... By the way, the brand name is Utech Records. Utech Records. Utech Records. Rat liquor in the comments gets this. Um, It's a signature pedal for an artist. uh, For an artist. Basically, it's a rat... Very unique in the sense it's a one knob rat, and the one knob is not a normal rat control. The normal three rat controls, to my knowledge, are located internally via trim pots. And this control here is a clean blend, which is kind of baller, which means Utech Records. I'm assuming I don't know anything about this company. I saw this pedal for the first time like three days ago. If this is some type of engineer producer, this makes perfect sense because the Rat is one of the most most best mm-hmm. distortion pedals for everything. Nick used it on drums, mm-hmm. vocal. Everyone always has used Rats on everything. Mm-hmm. And so this clean blend is cool. I want to hear it on bass as well later today. We should do that. Cool. But y'all ready? Y'all ready for yeah. this? So I'm dealing with an out-of-the-box, however it's set. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that's totally clean. So I don't have a volume control. I have a volume pedal at my foot, but and then I can dial in clean. Weird. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show this delay. I'm going to use it constantly because I can't play guitar without delay. This is the Nux slash Nuex tape echo. And I am in love with this right now. I made some really big comments to Addison uh, comparing it even to like the El Capistan and Mm -hmm. stuff. El Capistan? Capistan. El Capistan. Hey, lad. Lad. (laughs) Um, Time, repeat level, reverb bass treble and you can't see it here but it has these this digital image kind of like a game boy style thing which is sick and as you roll it it's three tape heads and you choose which heads touch the piece of tape in the graphic which is amazing so like ooh 
And it's a space echo type delay, meaning it has the reverb in it, and it's a tape machine that Roland made in the 70s first. So I'll turn the verb off. That's how I have, I've always used tape delays in this sense of a quarter note. Ooh, that, that is clutter. cool. How much is this thing? Uh, out of someone tell us. I think it's it's really affordable. Probably. Let's see here. Oh, I don't see it on. Let's see. Yeah. It's oh. on the document I printed you. I'm looking. Let me add the verb in. It should be toward the end, Addison. Okay. Now, this is tap tempo. And then if you touch them, you can do sound on sound. The price isn't on the sheet. Joshua fell. Sorry. It's okay, okay man. Either way. So, these came together. $119. My gosh. For this? Wow. For the rat liquor. No. Oh, the no. tape echo. <laughs> the tape echo. <laughs> Oh my God! You're <laughs> failing. All right, oh, back sorry. to these. I'm gonna race you. These, uh, this does longer. This is way more up my alley. This is, as far as I can tell from playing with this, it's only doing, which is not not a negative. It's, it's like slap back tape echo sounds. I can't get long sounds out of it, but that's okay. Like you hold this down, and no matter how long I set the tempo. No, now it's... Oh, my gosh. I say that. Sometimes all it takes is a whole crowd of a 1,000 people watching you live. Braxton Bragg says it's $170. Ooh, I love that our viewers know. are telling us the price. That's what we're here for. Somebody else said okay. it's $199. So. Hold on. I have the page loading. I can't find it. Oh, my gosh. This does long times. I, I'm having a long day, and we need to jam. Yeah. So I'll go between these two. I just want to say, so this is one, how much? One ninety nine. Somewhere around And there. the small tape core, I'd love to know the price on that. These are killer. That I was about 80 bucks. I, I would put that. this on my board immediately, and I may do so. The tape core is 99 for sure. That's insane. So, yeah. You know, I, I like the fact that I'm just, I'm a simple man. I want to tap there and on and off, and let's move on. Yep. That said, rat liquor. I'm going to do this clean blend sound because, like, that's so cool. It, it's the only time we've ever seen clean blend on a rat is the juggernaut, which is a bass rat, which means we need to play this on bass later. We'll take that extra one that Joshua has that we're going to give away. Yeah. And after this jam, what's a question we want to do? We'll do the jam and give the rat liquor away. What's our question? We already we already did it. We I already did have it. a winner. I am. We're horrible today. It's okay. If you're watching and we seem just <laughs> totally disheveled, uh, we're actually not. We're just tiny a little. Have yeah. a cup of coffee. Sip of coffee. We are not high. <laughs> right. I'm even gonna right. lean back. Here we go. Yeah. Here's my delay. Whoa.
I like that rat liquor. It's uncomfortable to say. I think my overall mix mm -hmm. is quiet and oh, my is guitar that the is loud. Oh. I think there's something going on. Just so that you that are watching understand. Hey, man, we can fix that. Let's, let's, um. Your guitar is too loud, is what you're saying. Well, compared to the mix. Okay. I, I want more of everything, but I want less of me. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I cannot find a price on the internet for the Echo. Is it out yet? I hope I didn't show some, No, I saw it on the internet. Yeah, it's all over the internet. That'd be but funny I cannot if like, find I a price. ruin their marketing. <laughs> Especially after this big stink you made. Yeah. I mean, it was justified. Um, do you want a winner? Let's do the winner. The winner yeah. for... The rat liquor that Addison will now put on base. Rat liquor that's about to go on the base is Rowdy Gleason. So if you are Rowdy Gleason, please email me at no the, one else. the JHS show at jhspedals.com. There's an energy today on the show. Yeah. It's like this careless, manical, Man maniacal, man maniacal <laughs> carelessly placed, it's dangerous like, energy. It's little brother energy. Yeah. I, Nick I and I have been fighting the youngest again. brother in my family. Yeah. Uh, Josh is a younger brother. I have a haircut Joshua tomorrow. You do? Yeah. I got a haircut next Wednesday. All right. I like the rat liquor in the comments. Let us know what you think. What do you... I I would like to see... Oh, my gosh. This That's... would be great to put on your drum board next time. Just my to drum see, board? Yeah. Just to see how the... Uh... See, what's cool about it is that the pulp and peel does a similar thing because yep. it's got the rat in it. That's just sort of set, so you can do a clean blend there, too. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Leave it to me to do the shameless plug. Um, next up, how about someone else pick a pedal? I refuse to pick Addison. all day. Okay, Addison. I'll go. I ooh, I really want to hear the cascade. cascade. Yep, the cascade. Can you point to it? Which one is that? Ooh, it's so pretty, right? So we use it... gaff tape, but look at this. Oh. The inside is plexi. The back plate's plexi, and it's like all these sick parts in there. Mm. It's very cool. I just want to stare at it. Why don't we do that? It's really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Come on, Josh. <laughs> you got it. It's, everything's fine. Just so we're clear again, it's the first person to answer the question to hit our servers. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. Just People upset? Maybe. They're always upset. So this pedal is $175. It's really beautiful. And it's got the mojo, you know, it's got the special sp sauce in it, like nice caps, carbon composistors. And it is a wonderful take on the, on the fuzz face. And I think it's inspired like sun face he does. I can't say enough about how amazing these are. Um, these are just amazing. But these are, this is like a thousand dollar fuzz right now, probably. And then this would be like the silicon version, which would be closer to this. But he has the bias control, which is ends up being the sun dial, which is why we have that name that I can't say that has to do with the god of sun. No, no, no mom. But, uh, yeah. No mom. So let's play no this. Mom? What's it called? I think oh. no mom. No, no <laughs> mom. <Just> dang it. <laughs> I give up. So this is classic silicon do it all kind of so that's the bias completely choked oh, and then cool. here's full I have publicly stated in certain areas that I was not a fan of fuzz faces, yeah. and I ref I retract my statement. Yeah, watch this, watch this. So this is, I'll uh, here's my volume control. That is so freaking cool. That's okay, amazing. That is so cool. I have a fuzz face at home. Why am I not using it? Because you're weak. I am. I'm so weak. I'll take it. Dang. I'm open to criticism. Let's let's fuzz on a let's fuzz jam on a fuzz face. Yeah. <laughs> Can I start something?
me um that reminds me of this poem i heard or i was reading today it says there is a day when the road neither comes nor goes and the way is not a way but a place hmm i say that all the time i was telling my kids that yesterday hey the way is not a way it's a place Who's the poem by? It was great. Wendell Berry. Wendell Berry? Like one word or two names? Wendell <laughs> Berry. Two words. I didn't know if two Wendell names. Berry was like an ancient poet. Like you say Prince or Adele. It's like right, Wendell right. Berry. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Wendell. He's alive currently. And he shall be called Wendell One of Berry. the things about growing up in Alabama is all poetry was forbidden. Wow. Really? Whoa. No, but. <laughs> did you guys like secretly meet in a barn and read poetry like Footloose? I did. I had several family members die. They were caught oh, reading. They were poetry. caught reading poetry. <laughs> wow, that's so dramatic. They should make a movie about that. They did. It's called Dead Poet Society. Mm, I you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> All right. I like that pedal because I like fuzz faces, and if you like fuzz, fa- all right. I like that pedal because I like fuzz faces. And if you like fuzz faces, you should check out the Cascade Pedals. Can't say the name. You say it. Uh, b- g- yes. No Mama. 179. No Mama. No Mama. 179 bucks for that is basically like if you don't buy it, mm-hmm. yeah. you've lost money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, speaking of losing money, I don't know. Uh, I think it's time for a quick word from our sponsor. Yeah. Okay. Hey, do you like the JHS show but are sick and tired of listening to this guy go on and on about useless history? Well, if I have the YouTube channel for you, yeah! Fresh Clips takes everything you love about the JHS show and gets rid of all the boring talking, all the jams, and none of the spam. It's like trail mix, but with just M&Ms. It's like a spicy chicken salad with just spicy chicken. Fresh Clips, check it out. Uh, so I'd just like to thank our partner, Fresh Clips, uh, uh, for funding this show today. I'm a long-time watcher of Fresh Clips. Yeah, so Clips. go over to Fresh Clips and subscribe. You can basically watch all the jams that we do on the show. It's just a big compilation of all of the jams. and It's it's great. It's fantastic. <sighs> Joshua, you pick. Eris. What? Eris. Eris or Eras? Eras. Is it eras? It's like you era. live in an era. In my eras. mind, it's spelled A R A S. Is that not how it's spelled? No. E R. It's fine. It's so okay, the man. ages was released ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's. <laughs> uh, wow. Woo! It was. It's uh. It's <laughs> basically like a very. It's Walrus's take on doing a super killer versatile everything overdrive like it's a it has an overdrive circuit and then it's mega tweakable with this mode control which basically modifies their circuit in different ways very clever then they uh wanted to expand on that they've been doing killer stuff lately and they make the eras which is distortion so you have everybody say ages is overdrive ages is ages is overdrive eras is distortion eras is distortion eras is good distortion Good job. So on the mode control, I'll go through it here. On these wonderful notes that Joshua made. Sorry, because I can't remember anything. Number one, so in mode one, it's like a tighter, slight mid-cut, hard LED clipping with an internal volume control. That's interesting. Tight mode on two, it's a different version of that same thing with a slight mid-cut, but silicon hard clipping. A little bit smoother and a little bit more compression. Then this has dual clipping with a slight mid cut and you have the LED and the silicon. So this is in a lot of ways is a clipping toggle going on right here, which is nice. And it's, I like that better than a toggle. It feels a lot better. Uh, number four rhythm mode has a deeper mid cut with the LED clipping. So scooped mids, tighter response. Um, and then the fifth mode uh, is a deeper mid cut with silicon hard clipping. And the inspiration for this is like a 5150 like an EVH or a PV6505. Um, Their engineer, Eric, developed this. He loves running it through his effects loop in his PV. Whoa, that's cool. So take that. Blend control is nice here.
Kane, bass and treble. So that's the more mids, and then you start cutting that. I gotta tune that D. I tried to do it by ear, almost did it. Right. Nick, what? Who do you think would win in a drum off between you and the Flama drum machine? It depends on. If you if you're looking for drumming with heart, or just a solace machine, we should do that later. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready. Yes. Let's do like a slow, like a funeral dirge of drop D, bad motor finger era, grunge metal. Okay. I'm gonna use Which, the rat liquor for yeah. this. Play that without me playing. That's Whoa. nice. Ooh. It's that, got all the deep. it's got all the girth. Rat liquor on bass, everybody. That's super deep. That's thick. So thick. It's really thick. Add some delay, of course. Because I'm just in that mood. This is more super unknown, but you get the idea. are disgusting enough surely for those who long for peace and truth but self-disgust is also an injury it's really deep it is deep beck was saying that to me last night yeah it's amazing how his it's, poems are lining yeah. up with our real lives it's really strange it's almost like he's like rip, ripping us off or something it's weird i like that pedal if you like distortion the Walrus Eras is for you at a price point of one ninety nine. Pew pew pew. This top string, y'all. Mm -mm. And then I go try to tune it more. <laughs> it's fine. All right, next up, Nick pick. Nick's Nick's picks. Um, right, give me some of that. Give me some of that speaker slasher speaker. The Ripper. Special, Special cranker? cranker? Special Cranker. There we go. All right. One of my favorite um, Earthquaker pedals, and many people's favorite Earthquaker pedals of all time, is the Speaker Cranker, which is Jamie Stillman's beautiful, wonderful take on the Electro Distortion. Yeah. This is so nice. This is so simple. Like, you plug this up, you got a knob that says more, and you just shut up and play music. Yeah. And it is so good. 
So they put out a fancier version here. 99 bucks, I believe. Is that what? correct? That yeah. is correct. Yo. So this follows in the steps of the plumes. $99. That's crazy. So you have a master volume now, more. You have a tone control. So this is obviously more complex than the, the OG. And then you have a germanium clipping and a silicon clipping. I think, am I in tune? I can't. I think you're out of tune. I think you are too. I gotta, I just gotta keep tune. I think these strings, if you're out there in the comments, write me a poem about how guitar strings let us down. All the time. Day after day, time after time. I changed those like a week ago, week and a half ago. Well, I'm hard on strings. Yeah. And to be fair, this room and Kansas yeah. City is like a climate change nightmare. Yep. Band name. Climate change nightmare. Their new single, Thunderstorm's coming to you soon. And then they have a song called Iceberg Lettuce. Oh, dang. Mm. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's start in the germanium more all the way down. Bypass. Silicon. I'm unsure if this is... Now, I, I know this is not... Like, this is Electra very much. I know he has went much further with this and maybe even left that behind. So I'm unsure if... Silicon germanium could be transistor types. I'm assuming this is still discrete, meaning it's not an op-amp overdrive. It's transistors. And I'm assuming... You know, I want to say that's the clipping diodes at the end of that circuit, but it might actually be like the state, like a germanium transistor instead of a diode. I don't know. I'm rambling, but I like assuming things without knowing. It's just fun. It's like taste testing. I that love this awesome. sound. It sounds like a cranked amp. Speaker cranker. Get it, everybody? <laughs> Can you explain it more? What's that? Can you explain it more to me? Uh, when you turn an amp up, it does it overdrives, uh, and this is the sound of a cranked speaker, meaning your amp's turned really loud. Cool. Yeah, that's the name. Can we attempt yes. to like ruin a G like? what neil young does yeah you know yeah. like i know that's that's like, exactly what it like is like i don't even know those solos make no sense i just want to try it it's a little like, like caveman. Ding, ding, ding. yeah like caveman cave, caveman barn rock oh yeah you want to start a beat uh <clears throat> sure
That was like a fair attempt. I knew in that recipe I had to hit a couple bad notes and commit. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of open jingles. You did it. And a lot of this stuff where you're like. <laughs> Yeah. Nels Klein would have been proud. I, yeah. Like, I felt like it needed to be raining. <laughs> yeah. It is and raining. I, and I needed, it is. yeah, but is like it? on me. Oh, yeah. And I needed Sorry. to have like an old Stetson. What? Yeah. Stetson. We got. <laughs> Does that remind you of a poem? We got uh, several poems. Um, I only picked a few. Let's I read just them. picked them at random. Okay. Um, Poetry corner. Douche craft guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, douche craft said. Guitar strings are worthless things. Oh, the sadness they can bring. A bird with a broken wing, an arm in a sling. Gosh darn. Edited. I need a new pair of strings. Um, I need new strings now. I hate breaking a dumb string. It's always the bee. I like that one because it's like, yeah. it's a little avant-garde. Yeah, right, right, it's breaking right, right. all the rules. Is that haiku? Is that what they call um, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I don't... Anyway. Dark Brew said, wrote, when I play guitar, it won't be long until I'm playing a song and my string tension is gone. Ooh. And then last like one, this. the Jameson says, my guitar string has slipped. I cannot keep a grip. The thing's out of tune and I am freaking ticked. <laughs> we really should have been playing slow jazz behind that, but it's okay. I have a drum beat for that on the looper. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. try one more to the jazz. Are there, are there any more poems? Okay. Uh, oh, there's tons of poems. Hold I'll on. just pick Here, one. Here's a yeah, jazz. Yeah, 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 hold yeah. on. Let me get a jazz beat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Whoa, Addison, you really locked right in there. Natalie Adams. Ode to a bee. Uh, excuse me, let me start over. <clears throat> Ode to a bee string. You haunt my fingers and my ear. Find your way to true bee, lest I go insane. Oh, swing. I heard about a pedal called Mr. Jack's from Jet Pedal. Oh, that's not a poem. <laughs> my, my, my strings are nickel wound. I play so much they let me down. They make sound, but I sound like a clown. Where is there any... Ernie Ball when strings need to be found. Yeah. S no, I'm not going to read that one. Strumming the strings, sharpness, flatness, despairing, rock and roll tunings. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I'm okay. done. I'm done with poems. That was an experience. All right. <laughs> Things hard to hear in jazz. Jazz is hard to hear. That's true. So if, <laughs> amen uh, to that. Speaker cranker's sick. It Special is sick. cranker. Special cranker. Special sick. cranker. For ninety nine dollars again. If you don't that's buy a, this, that's really amazing. If you don't buy this, then we're gonna come you to your are house. So dumb. I. If you don't fork out the money for this quality, Ohio made pedal. Yeah. Then you need to stop what you're doing right and, now. That, immediately whoa that's, honestly that's like a cup of coffee two it really that's two is. it's at least two They're, they didn't discontinue this one did they hopefully I, not. i don't know i okay. don't believe so hopefully not this is cold <clears throat> you should have drank it while it was hot addison next oh, pedal next like pedal wisdom, oh my gosh oh my gosh uh let's go with the uh the one that should make us play like nirvana next for mojo hand what's that called mojo hand you mean just play <laughs> shoegaze mojo hand. yeah yeah exactly this is the swim team, and I want to demonstrate it. That's a good name. I think it is a good name. I think it is. It's the color of the Nevermind album cover. Whoa, Josh, come on. I just embarrassed my whole generation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it wasn't because of that. <laughs> That's, that is like... Perfect. I have to play it a little off so YouTube yeah. doesn't. Mm. Yeah. Because Jeff, John YouTube will, will get mad, and we don't want to make him mad. That is like huh? perfect. Yeah. So what they're what they got going on here <laughs> is Mojo Hand says the name's all right. 
Yeah, yeah, it's all right. They have the chorus ensemble kind of inspiration on the chorus, which is funny because their Nirvana chorus is really a well, it's several things, but it's most assumed that it's a small clone. And then this was a big inspiration on the flanger mode, the mistress, which I honestly don't think anybody knows what anybody used in those sessions. So here's the flanger. Ooh. Yes. The angel opens her eyes. This is the second live we've done this song. And it's called Live the Band. Pale blue colored eyes. This sounds a day. Yeah. When there's something that's in you. You guys are doing great. I just want to sing the placenta part. Nice. Where is that? It's a. Placenta falls. Placenta in a song. Hmm. We've already had. I don't want to regurgitate this. So, classic, <laughs> classic <laughs> flanger. That mega grossed me out. Cartoon villain said they just joined, and apparently it's the 90s. It's always the 90s at JHS. Let's do that. Yeah. Off in the that. woods in the quiet morning, a red bird is singing, and his song goes out around him, greater than its purpose, a welcoming room of song, in which the trees stand, through which the creek flows. I wonder if we get flagged for reading poetry. That'd We're going to find out. We'll find out. Well, you know, they'll take our monetization, which means we won't make $4. Yeah. They can take our monetization, but they can't take our souls. Do people read poetry much anymore? I don't know. I like poetry. I don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't say I've picked up a book in the last... Maybe I have this year. I have like a couple, but no. Yeah. I don't think the general... Nick and I both picked up books today. Yeah, we did. I got a we book went... of poetry. I got a comic book. <laughs> Is that the Batman book in there? Yeah. <laughs> so you bought a Batman graphic novel, and he bought, yeah, Headlight. What's his name? Wendell Berry. Wendell Berry. Wendell Berry. Sabbath yeah. poems. This is kind of cool. He took for, since the seventies. He takes every Sunday and writes a poem. That's cool. That's cool. 
How sweet. He goes for a walk in his field and writes a poem. Dang. Well, every Sunday, Batman goes out at night and fights crime. <laughs> so try to top that, Wendell Berry. The Mojo Hand Swim Team Chorus Flanger 159, available at your local preferred dealer. It has CE1 effects, ADA flanging, and electric mistress. Mistress. <laughs> mistress. 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 Oh, okay. you, you canceled my stick. <laughs> it is DSP, but it sounds and feels like true analog. Wow, that was great. Hey, and speaking of true analog, I don't know. Uh, if you're a drummer in the comment section, give me a, a high five emoji, and we're going to pick one of you to win this uh, drum roll. Please. Ah, wait, I can't because I'm the guy. You're Hold the on. drum roll man. I, wait. Give, hey, there we go. <laughs> Thank. Oh, oh God. Okay, give us a give us a, a, a high five up in the comments section, and we're gonna pick someone to win the big fat snare drum. This makes your snares instantly beefy, it, and it's really great. I use them all the time. I use multiple of them all the time. So so give us a hands up, and we'll give give away one of these to you. So so Josh Joshua, pick somebody. I got someone already. All right. Do you want to know who it is? Uh, yeah. Ryan Blocker, you win the big, big, what is it? <laughs> it's called Big oh, Fat oh, Snare Drum. Big Fat Snare Drum. No, Please right. email me at the JHS Show at jhspedals.com. And if you're not that guy, don't email. Joshua, what do I play next? Um, can I see the top down? Um, uh, I can't really just see. say a color. Um, orange. No, that's the cab. Oh, I can and demonstrate the special the cab. Let me demonstrate the cab. Um, what's next to the special cranker on the left? <clears throat> Let's do Uncle Ernie's effects. Yeah, do Uncle that. Uncle Ernie booster. Uncle Ernie's, there's a box right there. Let's see that box. Addison, lend me that box. All right. Uncle Ernie's, these are sold on oh, Reverb. <laughs> Sorry, a little late on that one. <laughs> <laughs> You've been late on all of your stingers today. Uh, here's a uh, here's a note from possibly this is Uncle Ernie. Ooh. His name's Tim. Wait. Hey, Uncle Ernie's name is Tim. Uncle Ernie's name is Tom. 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 It says Tim. Hold on, let me look it up. Well, some people write O's differently, you know. Whatever. I present to you an Uncle Ernie's effects booster. I've been making pedals since '05, so that's mm. amazing. First okay. of all, yeah. I, I, everybody, give a clap because that's a long time. Don't we have a Wait, clap? We clapping don't we have a, don't we we have a studio snapping. audience? I've got the studio audience decided not to come today. You all right? Yeah, they're just like I don't want to be. It's Tim, here. Josh, not Tom. I said it was Tim. <laughs> I've been making pedals since '05. It started as a repair shop for musicians and has evolved since then. The booster is ultra simple JFET distortion boost. It will replace a Distortion Plus or OD250 in a pedal lineup, but it will clean up with your guitar's volume because there's no clipping diodes. Um, sadly, I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep building. I'm now retired, and I do it for fun, but they're not cheap, as I'm sure you know. How much is this pedal? It is... Did I not put it on the paper? I am doing really Dude. bad today. Dude, $100. Uh, okay, okay, $100. okay, okay, $100. Is it on the paper? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to get at least one into your collection for posterity, which I appreciate. I'll, I'll keep it forever. Not that an opinion wouldn't be great. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, I hope you can appreciate a pedal built like the good old days. Tim. Is his last name Ernie? No. No. That's all right. So, so here's the deal. I'm going to say something. 
Yeah. We live in a world where Mm. people complain about everything. Yeah. Mm. And then they complain about what they've complained about. Yeah. And then they're like, why is everything going away? Yeah. Yeah. Why is nothing being made anymore? Yeah. Yeah. And here we are with a pedal that I've already demoed and I absolutely freaking love it because I played it earlier. $100 made by a man. Who's, who's named Tim. Who's been doing it since 05. <laughs> yeah. Go to Reverb and buy a bunch of these. Do it. This is an awesome pedal. Let me demonstrate it. Yeah. So I love this. Uh, at first, I thought it might be, before I read that note just now, I thought it might be in the wheelhouse oh. of these. Boy, was I close yet so far away. like them up there it's not clean so this is just this hitting my what am i playing today mig 50 sob tech yeah, yeah. Tech. here's the clean For, that's what overdrive some of you just need. Look at the controls. Gain at like nothing. One. Yeah. That's what some people just need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't need overdrive. Yeah. You need Uncle Ernie's booster. That's a hundred dollars in hand built. That does sound great. It really does. Let me just turn it up all the way. I'm gonna just this amp's gonna be melting. Go for it. Ooh. Let's stack it with the cranker. So cool. Off. A little dash of reverb. Just a spring tank. Got a controller at my foot. Now let's let's play with the gain here. Let's do what a clock is that? That is ten. Ten. Ten-ish. Is this the overdrive you've been looking for? It, maybe. I don't know. I love that. I love that he's been making these this long. Oh, there's a switch on the side, too. Yeah. Oh, did is. I get... No, you got fine. ahead of myself. Gain all the way up. So... Flip this and it's a treble boost. I love it. Let's jam. Let's do some rock and roll. Yeah. Let's do like uh like uh like the Pearl Jam song about going out and like flipping over a cop car, but like helping Society. an elderly person okay. with their groceries. Okay, cool, cool. I got it. In B. Honestly, that's a freakishly convincing Pearl Jam sound. Yeah. Moonlight. 
Can I daylight, make a suggest? Oh, sorry, sorry. Pink clouds eastward, cries of geese flying north, the river quiet. Heavenly the bluebells whose freshness cannot be remembered from one April until the next. Can I make a suggestion for <laughs> Uncle Ernie? Yeah. That's so good, Uncle. It's really good. That Uncle Ernie. I think you should raise your prices a little bit so you can keep mm. okay, doing so it. And I think you'd sell more if you I charged think you would. a little more. Typically, yeah. they're 150 Oh, okay. They're on sale right now. Why are they 100. on sale? I don't know. Maybe because it's on the show? I don't know. He when did this? This came in like a week ago. <clears throat> I love it. That's... I've always said boost pedals are half the time the overdrive people think they're looking for. Yeah. And mm. nobody understands they need a boost pedal. I probably don't even understand that. No, you never have. I've no. told you. You refuse to listen to me. But listen really to that. One, on more, me quick. one more time. One more time. Just. <laughs> What's it called again? Uncle Ernie's Booster. Uncle Ernie's Booster. Bo- uh- <laughs> Hold on. Wait. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm going to have to make a stingers is hard stinger. Uncle anyway. Ernie's effects booster. $100 on reverb. How many are on there? Do we know? Uh, Let's make it our goal to sell out yeah. Uncle Ernie. Ah. Ouch. Oh. oh, I have a shoulder pain in it. And it's probably, it's probably something... I uh, went to the doctor and they diagnosed me and they said that it's already bumped every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> so just for clarification, you have had that checked out. Yeah, I did. And okay. they were like, that is Ernie Ball trivia time. And there's no cure. Ex- there's no cure? Except to give away some strings. Oh, so you guys man. are saving my life today. Oh. Welcome to Ernie Ball trivia time where we ask a question and Ernie Ball gives away an entire box of strings 10 packs 10 packs if you're a guitar player six packs if you're a bass player my goodness my goodness the best and that's not because and that's not because we value bass players less it's because bass (laughs) bass strings are like indestructible and significantly more expensive yeah and just take a longer time to break unless you're like some kind of weird experimental hammer based band Maybe you know what I mean. I've had these strings on this bass for I feel two like years. That would be a band that you casually be talking to Daniel Danger and be like, "I was in a band one time. And we like played our guitars <laughs> with hammers." <laughs> he would do that. All right, today's question is: If everyone's ready, how many pedals can you power with a single Ernie Ball Volt unit? Throw your answer in the comments. If you're the first one that we see on our end of things, you will win a whole box of strings. Go. <sighs> Neat. <clears throat> Very cool. Let's uh, show off this Flama envelope filter. It is uh, envelope filter is not something that I wake up wanting to put on my board, right? Mm. But I do enjoy some funky, you know, some funky quacking. It's like you don't wake up in the morning <laughs> and you're like, I want a cheese board. Although, I, well, if it was you me, do. Yeah, I, I do. I do want that. I would yeah. love that too. First like thing, like all the other. Flammas. The UI, the user interface is great. Sensitivity is the big knob. So. The Q is the spot of frequency. It's good. Tone, which is nice. You don't see that a lot. Brighten it. I like the darker. And then decay is how how the envelope falls off. Nice. Is it an, is it possible to play that and not like smile? No. Can you read a it, poem over this? Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Can I'm just gonna Can I'm I? just gonna like jam just a, like a little quietly over here Kay. too. Wait. Okay. What do the tall trees say? To the late havocs in the sky They sigh, the air moves And they sway when the breeze on the hill is still Then they stand, then they stand still They wait, 
they have no fear. Their fate is faith. Bird's song is all they've wanted all along. The nation is a boat, as some have said, ourselves its passengers. How troubling now to ride its drifting down the flow from the old high vision of dignity, freedom, holy writ of habeas corpus, and the land's abundance down to waste, want, fear, tyranny, torture, character, a vision and a character in this time, while the abyss whirls below. Did he work habeas corpus into a poem? Yeah, he did. Dang. Wendell Berry, baby. In time, a man disappears from his lifelong fields, from the streams he has walked beside, from the woods where he sat and waited. Thinking of this, he seems to miss himself in those places as if always he has been there, watching for himself to return. But first he must disappear, and this he foresees with hope, with thanks. Let others come. Barry, everybody. We're just like a really strange version of me without you. I think we do like one or two more poems. It just feels good and I just don't care. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. The clearing rests in song and shade, it's a creature made By old light held in soil and leaf By human joy and grief, by human work Fidelity of sight and stroke, by rain, by water on the parent stone We join our work to heaven's gift, our hope to what is left That field and woods at last agree And in an economy of, worth, of widest worth High heaven's kingdom come on earth. Imagine paradise, oh dust, arise. The old oak wears new leaves. It stands for many lives. Within its veil of green, a singer sings unseen. Again, the living come to light and are at home. And Edward Abbey's gone. I pass a cairn of stone, two arm lengths long and wide, piled on the steep hillside by plowmen years ago, and now oaks and hickories grow, where the steel coulter passed, where human striving cease, the sabbath of the trees returns and stands and is. The leaves shake in the wind, I think of that dear dead friend, here where he never came except by thought and by name, I praise the joyous rage that justified his page. He would have liked this place, where spring returns with solace of doom. In a dark time, larkspur and columbine, the flute song of the thrush sounds in the underbrush. He awakes in darkness all around Are sounds of shifting stones and doors opening As if someone had lifted away a great weight Light falls on him He has been asleep or merely gone He has known a long suffering of himself Himself shaped by pain His wounds of separation he now no longer minds For the pain is only himself now Grown small, becoming a little growing longing joy Joy teaches him to rise, to stand, to move, 
out through the opening the light has made. He stands on the green hilltop amid the cedars. The skewed stones, the earth all opened. Doors half blind with light. He traces with his forefinger the moss-grown furrows of his name. Hearing among the others a woman's cry, she is crying and laughing, her voice a stream of silver he seems to see. Oh, William, honey, it's you, oh! If we have become a people incapable of thought, then the brute thought of mere power and mere greed will think for us. I'm going to say something. That was the greatest demo the Flama envelope filter will ever get. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a strange me without you vibe. It was. <laughs> yeah. It's like if Tom Mish. Tom Mish, you said days. Had, yeah. The, the me without you guy. I don't know. I know. The, I like a couple albums. Like, Aaron. Know, Aaron. Aaron. And uh, the bass player from... Uh, Pino uh, Palladino. Like Pino yeah. Palladino. Because it had a Sade vibe inside oh. of that vibe. Did yeah. Pino play with Sade? I think he's played with everybody. My gosh. Uh, <laughs> His uh, son plays with Tom Mish. For real? Uh, yes. Dang. Yes. That was the ages. <laughs> That's <for> true. <laughs> so uh, the answer to the question. Oh, yeah. I forgot we asked how the question. How many Woo, I really pedals. zoned out. How many pedals can you put into a single volt from Ernie Ball? The answer is five. Woo. And dad time, jam time, you win. Good Please job. email me at the JHS show at jhspedals.com. Weirdly, dad time, jam time it's like, is seemingly very fit <laughs> for what just happened. To what just happened. <laughs> Honestly, though, Man, seriously. what a riff. That's cool. When... When we're all like freaking old and we've passed this, whatever this is, on to the next generation, uh, yeah, whatever it is, I just hope that at least once a week we all meet up in the basement or in a club somewhere and, and we, we just, just play we this riff. This. Yeah, yeah, we can, and I'll be done with school, so I'll write. By the time you're a really old man, yeah. Here's the tape core, real quick. So. It's like a tiny version of this, and the tape head control clicks through. It'll do sound on sound. Yeah, it it's cool. It's an echo. This is my faves, though. So we only have one thing left to show. Yeah. Uh, this cab in. So right now, this is the sob ticking up with the blue. And when I click this, it's going to drop that. And this cab is just literally going through. You can see this radial DI straight into Pro Tools, right? Yep. Or whatever we're using. Yeah, console. A UA console. So here that is. Wow, I'm out of tune. <laughs> it was all that old man jam time. I, well, it's, it was all the... Uh, all that yeah uh tuning up here you know i need someone to drop a poem or two about cab sims Ooh, cab that's sims. gonna joshua's gonna read that over a hip-hop rock thing we're gonna do maybe oh cool i think if kid a did a track with jay-z and the me without you guy nice sweet <laughs> there's right here you have different cab sims. Now, here's a question for the comments. What Do you just use... I've never used these live. I think they sound great. I always end up using an overdrive to shape the front end because mm -hmm. it's not an amp sim. Right. It's a cab sim, and you can load your own stuff into this. But, for instance, here's my amp. Oh, my gosh. You have nine volume knobs. And then here's the cab sim. 
So I can scroll through these with the foot switch. So if I turn on a distortion, you really hear like... Hear the sub frequency in that? It's huge. That's insane. So let's take, cut the low. You get the idea. So clean signal. Now, I prefer my amp. It sounds like an amp. This yeah. sounds way better than DI, but I feel like I'm missing. How do you guys run these, guys and gals? So in the comments, how do you use a cab sim? Are you, are you using an amp in a box pedal in front? So like, when I take something like Uncle Ernie's, it starts sounding amazing. See, already. Better. It adds like that, that, that pre-amp to it. Without it. But I can take this and dirty it up and like. Sounds way better. I'm just curious how people use that. Hmm. So this is really cool if you're looking for a cab sim. It's super affordable at a whopping, I think it's $4. Wow. It's 188 which is, that's actually, that's, a, mm -hmm. that's an up there price. Yeah. You can but load your own. It has tons well. of features. Yeah. It's super powerful. I am the first to admit, I'm not real sure how people are using these. I've, I, I go the route of like, hey, let's use uh, like a quilter or something mm -hmm. if I'm going to do that. So mm -hmm. I'm not real sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know this is like a huge thing right now. But when I compare this to, say, the walrus um, thing, this just has the cab side, whereas the walrus is actually emulating an amp as mm -hmm. well. So I'm a little confused on like someone school me on that in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said... This uh, we've already demoed. I think it's time to do. Um, do you have any answers to that in the comments, Joshua? Uh, no. People are writing poems instead. That is true. We've they, they the they do thing. have a si an assignment currently. Well, I think uh, we do a. Uh, we just do this. Yeah. And With my Helix rack, if I have actual caps, I don't use a cap sim. That's what no. I was. That's, that's See, what I'm wondering. You could also. I know a lot of like studio folks that don't have big spaces where they can mic a cab. You could run it into a load box, so Sir makes load boxes. You, uh, you could also do it with something like the Which cab. I've done a lot. Yeah, exactly. So then that would become your cabinet, and you could load IRs into that and then run DI into Pro Tools. A lot of people just do the IR thing in your computer, like in Pro Tools or whatever your DAW is, but okay. this would do it outside of it, and you just commit your sound to the guitar oh, track. That's, see, that's super cool. And, yeah. and to be fair, this setting and me... This is not the right place to demonstrate this. Sure, right. I think, yep. yeah, if you're looking into these, this is really flexible. It's got a stereo in and out, basically. It has different ways the foot switch can coordinate with scrolling or turning on and off. It's pretty cool. But again, this is not the environment. Like, my setup doesn't do this justice. Mm. But I would say this. I With this on or off, yeah. it sounds way better than the DI. Right, right, right. But I know there's more to be put in front of it. Yeah. Useful tool for sure. Yeah. All right. Mm. I think we close out demonstrating the Flama drum on Hip Hop 1 and 4-4. Four four. <laughs> Dang, that's bumping. What tempo you want? You just... Because you can tap it in. I, just... I think that's where it should be. I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to sit here. All right. So I'm going to sync this. Do you want to read the poems, Nick? No, you got it. Okay. I'll be, I'll be your hype man. Yeah. Let's see what madness we can create for like a few minutes here. And let's not get in a hurry. Let's just find our place, you know? Just find, like, what are we trying to do here? Mm. Oh, I love this delay.
Uncle Ernie. I'm going to use Uncle Ernie's again. I like where you're going there. Let's just show them how the sausage is made. That was no, that's exactly what I was hearing in my head. I thought like you were a, in a different key. Well, that's like a kid A bass line, which you've never listened to. Still, nope. yeah, like a descending. Um, what key are we? so? This would be. B? We're in the key of poetry. It's E minor. Is yeah. it maybe? Yeah, it's E minor. I'm gonna add some swim team in here. Woo! That is so perma moist. honest i would buy this looper drum thing for this one beat to sit around and like go into a trance with delay pedals you know now have the reading of some poems based around cab simulation. Fender basement. It's not real. It's a sim. But I'll make you a deal. Sims may only copy a truth. I like these one-line poems. <laughs> Amp in a box would give me lots of rock bigger than a beanstalk. I'll fly away with time like a hawk. Sims are needed. Cap sims don't get heated. I need you for my silent stage. You help me make a living wage and not turn down. Mathematical simulation, psychoacoustic perturbation It's a form of convolution for your musical restitution Audiotronic digital guitar elation bros mad at the cab sims they are mad because they're simps i think they sound fine i'll use one anytime You have no green to buy a tweed, but with its sim, no need for the greed.
Amp in a box would give me lots of rocks Of rock bigger than a beanstalk I'll fly away with time like a hawk Did I read that one already? I know I saw a hawk in here somewhere I am old and I still get it Llama, whoa cab, whoa cab He stole my amp, it gave me cramps But my back up is really heavy Amplification, simplification by emulation For all in the nation I'll shred the strings while you do those things, Nick. Kittens wearing mittens where we're all just getting it, Nick. So this is the cab sim I've been playing the whole time. So if you don't think about it, it sounds fantastic. This is the, this is the eras and the delay and just the cab sim. I mean, I can't, that's great. That's not my go-to tone, but you know. I think we've done it, y'all. I think we've executed a new and notable that strayed really near the urge of insane. Yeah. Ibanez 2 Screamer just gave us $20 because we're a new and improved Lincoln Park. <laughs> Thank you, Ibanez 2 Screamer. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of what this sounds like. It's like the DJing stuff over here. Yeah. I do want to display, there's a sick section on here called Disco. Wham, bam, flamma, jam, amp, cramp, tramp, stamp, no more calves, penicillin for crabs, trying to pedal, with in metals. What does disco guitar even sound like? That was it. Yeah, I think was, that was it. I mean, this is like. Disco guitar is not a style. It's a it's a feeling. Check. I don't. I'm lost. Yeah. It's too. Your guitar's too dirty. This is not disco. That's not disco. I mean, it's that's like you're in a disco. nightclub in Dubai. Well, that's nightclub what I was just gonna say. Dubai. We've been to plenty of discos that were just uh, dancing music. Nightclub in Dubai. Thank you for tuning in to this yeah. new and notable. That's just Moby. <laughs> Glug Blub says, I just joined. What is happening? Uh, it's just everything's broken. All right. Okay. Oh, Sorry that you just joined because we're shutting it down. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> Go buy an Uncle Ernie's effects booster.
and go buy all these. Look one more time, one more time down at the board. We got the rat liquor, the Fama envelope, the arrows by Wars, the special cranker, Uncle Ernie's, the new X or Nux. We're not sure. Nux. Delays the Mojo Hand swim team and the Cascade pedals. The, the drum looper, the, the cab. Drum, <laughs> cascade yeah. pedals fuzz. That's called. It's called the Zoom. No Mama. No, no Mama. 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 <laughs> and then we have uh, the the cab and looper. All right, that's great. great. Everybody okay. have a wonderful evening. Good night. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.